Okay, folks, I wanted to mention a couple of things as we're getting started um, on your quail eggs, boiling them. Um, you are going to want to, uh, once they come to a boil, you're going to make sure you're starting to steer them, keep them stirred. And uh, that way, the like I was saying earlier, that the yellows or the yolks will wind up in the center and not on the sides. Okay, <clears throat> you're going to, once they start boiling, the hot water starts boiling, just boil it for three to four minutes with constant steering them, okay? Um, and then if you have any that float to the top, that means that egg is not a good egg. So take those out. If they don't float to the top, then you should be good to go. Um, but anyway, I am going to show you um, now how I peel my eggs. And um, <clears throat> that way you'll be able to see how easy it really is, is that you take you take a handful of eggs first off. I'm going to show you that before I start peeling. And I put them in a glass jar. I just take a regular old mason jar and I drop in, say about five, okay, about five eggs. Now, just shake them up real good. And with, in that way, it'll crack the shell because those shells with the membrane are so hard and all this and, and it's, not, it's not as easy as a chicken egg to boil. Once they're done, just pour them out. You've got cracked eggs. Okay. Then what I do is, is you can do it any way you want as I start with the pointed end and because whenever you start to peel, usually the pointed end is the end that will try to pull off some of the uh, egg white. And see, so I just start peeling the egg back away from it and then I go to the other side and I do the same thing and I start peeling away at the egg uh, at the shell it is and uh, just get it all peeled off takes a little time it is a little time consuming but quail eggs are well worth it anybody that's ate quail eggs will tell you that it, they're delicious to us, they taste better than the chicken egg. Um, they're good for you. My grandkids, they absolutely love them, uh, especially when they can pop on Gigi's and uh, stay for a day or two. And they they like to eat pickled eggs, and they like to eat uh, eggs in a basket, that, and uh, they like um, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, anything with quail eggs because they're so tiny. So, you know, to kids, tiny is cool. Anyway, so there you have a you have an egg that uh, I just peeled um, by um, doing it the way I'm showing you. And um, the membrane is a little thick. I try not to mess with it too much. If any stuck to the egg white because it will break your egg. And you don't taste them when you pick on an eggs or anything. But there it is. There's your egg. Okay. So that's how we do it <clears throat> here. Um, again, there's many ways you can do it. Uh, this is the easiest. Just take you some eggs. Like I said, after they're boiled, put them in a jar, glass jar or something. Swirl them around. And then that way you can start peeling them. Um, just take your time and uh, peeling them. And uh, it should all come out just nice and perfect. Um, every now and then it doesn't. And so that's when I get a little snack and I just go ahead and eat them while I'm going. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this has helped some folks out there on uh, knowing how to peel uh, quail eggs without breaking them all up. And also on how to boil them because we didn't know that when we first got into business is, is we didn't know that the white, I mean that the yolks would stick on one side and uh, kill my barber. When we first got into it, I was talking to him, and he he actually gave me that pointer and told me to um, make sure I'm steering them, and that would cause the the oats go to the middle, and so that's when we started doing it that way, and it works perfect. Because I have seen people post online where it doesn't come out like that, and they have egg on the side. So anyway, uh, again, I hope this has helped. I'm John, um, we're from Kempner, Texas, and uh, area, and we live close to our grandkids, and 
So we tried to do all this because our grandkids love to come visit and see all the animals and stuff. So there's some eggs. And again, I've got approximately 100 to do because we're going to pickle some uh, quail eggs. Which if you have never had pickled quail eggs, you need to try it. It is delicious. Uh, we like them now better than pickled eggs. We like pickled eggs. Not saying we don't. But these little quail eggs are like a little treat. You just pop the whole thing in your mouth and eat them. And again, my little grandsons, they love it. Especially my uh, our, our four-year-old grandson, um, Austin. He just absolutely loves them. So, hope this helps. And I hope everybody has a good day. And I'll be putting other videos as I... Uh, as I'm doing things, I'll start putting other videos. It's my very first video, so it's a little bit unprofessional and all, so excuse that. But anyway, y'all have a good day, and God bless.